Say goodbye to my mom, everyone. Welcome to another fun-filled adventure. Hey everyone, it's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont. This time we're on our way to DC. Yes, I just got back from my last trip, but so is the life sometimes. Back at the airport, we're gonna check in, we're gonna get on the other side, and I'll see you there. Made it through no issues. This is actually a separate kind of terminal here at the Burlington Airport, which I have not flown out of with you guys. I haven't actually flown out of this side in probably like 15 years. So I'm gonna find who I'm going on this trip with because I am actually going on a trip with people this time. So my coworkers are coming. She said she was at the Skinny Pancake, so I'm gonna stop there and then I'll show you around. <laughs> are boarding the plane now so we have a slight wait <laughs> to get on look at it all right so let's get on the plane and i'll talk to you in a minute in Washington DC I'm waiting for the ladies they're in the bathroom I'm surprised I don't have to go but I might regret this decision by on our way to the airport but at this point we're on our way to our airport to our airport to our hotel we are in my hotel this is actually the same exact hotel we were in when I went to DC a little while ago, those videos should be up now. I'll post it here. So you probably won't get a, maybe, I don't even know if I did a hotel tour last time, so we might do the hotel tour this time. But yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. I am like ready to just kind of like grab some food and sit in my room, but I'm gonna be a good tourist. I'm gonna get out a little bit. My goal and the thing that I wanna show you guys, which I don't think I want to go to the FDR memorial that's really the only memorial I want to go see this time I mean heading in and seeing monuments um, this one's a little bit off the beaten path like I don't know less than a mile off the beaten path but not necessarily a part of the mall so something that you have to go walk to or hop on a bus to so we're I'm going to do that at some point this week other than that, I'm just not sure what we're going to get into. If there's anything that you guys have ever done in D.C., and backing up a minute, a lot of people are like, oh, go to the Smithsonian. That sounds great and well. The one issue I have with it is I'm here for a conference, so I'm here for work. So I'm really in meetings and presentations from 8 in the morning until about 4. So getting to the Smithsonian is you, Smith is usually out of the question because they close around five I believe on non-summer days so I mean I'll look it up you never know they might have an, a late day coming up and I'll I'll see if I can hop in there but typically that's closed before I can get out there so we'll see what I get into you never know there's probably gonna be some happy hour and there's probably gonna be some fun I hope you guys enjoy this adventure <laughs>
done checking out the Arlington Cemetery. I've not done much in there just because we haven't made it through before but I hope you guys enjoyed it and now we're going to dinner so let's go eat. hopping on to basically say good night today travel day i'm in dc tomorrow is day one of the conference Woohoo! no presenting this time i'm not sure what the rest of the week is gonna bring outside of the conference i do want to get to the fdr memorial that is my goal for the week today we went to arlington we saw the tomb of the unknown soldier we saw the kennedys it was just it's it's hard to grasp the feeling of Arlington unless you're actually in Arlington, but it is just a massive cemetery that has a few little places that you can stop at that are the most interesting graves of all the graves. Although if you have somebody that's buried in Arlington, you can actually go find their grave and see them. These just happen to be kind of like the touristy or like the national people such as the president um, john f kennedy is buried there his brother is buried there and then the tomb of this unknown soldier is just a very interesting and somber place and kind of unlike many places in america i i guess a backstory we can do a story time on this another time but i lived in england for a little bit a little while and they seem to have a lot of is it regalia and all these like historic things the changing of the guards all these things that happen all the time and there's several of them kind of all over the country and I just don't feel like those happen around here and then you go to the tomb of the unknown soldier and you see the changing of the guard and there is a whole military aspect to it but it's all very prim and proper and um those guys work very hard to look like that i'm really happy that i've been doing a really great job with my skin look at these zits so you get for not washing your face after you put makeup on I love how i'm sitting here talking about how like amazing and fabulous the tomb of the unknown soldier is and then i'm like look at my zits so is life, everyone. So is life. I hope you enjoyed today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. -bye.